believe we are live, so welcome to the channel. I'm your host John, aka Latherhog, here for a live shave. Something I don't think I've done over here on YouTube, so um, apologies ahead of time if uh, there's a little tweaking going on, uh, tweaking of settings and whatnot while the shave is happening. Uh, happy Halloween for all of those uh, who are catching this live or the day of. Those of you celebrating, uh, my kids are getting ready. Uh, it's, uh, it's Halloween falls on a Sunday this year. Uh, I guess there's just more activities packed in. So I do need to shave and I'd be here anyway though because uh, as you might see from the title, I have a very exciting first impressions for you and that is the Blackland Era razor. And this is the guy that is the first 3D printed razor uh, that, that we know. And even like the, the whole you know, 3D printing, um, for those of you familiar with it, you know, typically it's like plastic kind of stuff. Very cool, very cool technology. But as far as uh, like a commercial product and definitely a razor uh, and using you know uh, metal and whatnot, this is a first. Uh, I, I got a plug you know, way back in May. Uh, we had uh, we had Shane, uh, owner of Blackland Razors, on as a guest for the Ladder Talk podcast. So please be sure to check that out uh, if you want some more information. And I can see some people are, are coming in live, so that's good. I wasn't sure how messages would pop up, but uh, uh, Baby Ray, I see you. Up, Upfo, good morning, guys. How are you? Magic Mike, how's it going? Yeah, glad you guys can pop on. I know I didn't announce this ahead of time, but um, yeah, it, it seemed to, I, I kind of want to capture the raw reactions, and I didn't mind having some um, some viewers along for that ride. So yeah, so this is the this is the box uh, Shane was kind enough to send over the the Blackland era, and you know I I didn't check ahead of time, but I'm not sure when the uh, the release date official release date is. I'll try to get some more information anyway, because uh, I did want to give some impressions not only to you guys but also back to Shane, and uh, yeah, so very excited for it. Will, how's it going? Happy Halloween to you. Yeah, so this is what the box looks like. I did take some things out because there's a lot. He gave me the full setup. That includes 10 different base plates, um, five of the standard or straight bar, and five of the open comb. Today, I figured we'll just like go right in the middle, and I'm using the uh, standard straight bar uh, three, three plate, and yeah, so that, that's what we're going with today. This is the box. Uh, one thing that happened, so this is magnetic. A quick note on packaging, but uh, you can see there. I think uh, it's it's kind of to keep the to, to hit a certain price point. I think it's around between seventy and eighty dollars USD. Uh, this is the kind of a simple packaging, but nice. M my packaging didn't quite make the uh, <laughs> the trip over. You can see this uh, this part ripped a little bit, but otherwise, the, you know, this kind of keeps the the, the razor in place. And over here on the side, you can put extras like razor blades, additional plates and whatnot. So kind of a simple door opening, magnetic closing. That's the, that's the basic box. Now look at the razor. Um, here is the handle. It feels, you know, it kind of has like a bead blast kind of matte texture to it. That's one thing I, I was really curious about. How would a 3D printed razor feel? Uh, so it feels like, like that, like a matte finish, and it's quite hefty. So, um, quite hefty. I should say it's a good weight. It's not super light or anything like that. So it feels like a very solid razor. I'm sorry, I'm make sure I don't miss comments how we do this. Gabriel, good morning, how are you? Happy Halloween to you as well. I'll do my best to go between the shave and catching comments. But one cool thing, the reason I'm showing you the handle here, is when I was unboxing like a lot of little baggies and things with the plates and razor blades, but one thing is like, oh, what, what are these? Because these aren't, it's not the, um, what do you call it? It's not the M5 washer, which it does come with. This is a thing that kind of protects the, uh, the, the area between the handle and the base plate. That, you know, that's given to you. I was like, oh, what are these? You know, kind of like, uh, looks like my, my daughter's hair bands. But in fact, these fit into the grooves to give you a little extra grippiness. I do think, again, this finish, uh, sorry if it's not focusing. I do think the finish has enough grippiness to it, but uh, I'll put on, I'm gonna put on like a few of these guys on because 
I was playing around with it. It's kind of, this is a cool little pack in um, small detail, but I know so, some folks really concerned about dropping their razor, breaking their razor, breaking their sink, you know? So the little rubber band goes right over and it'll, it'll nestle right in to the grooves. So let's put it down in the middle here. So you can see there's six of these bands, there's six grooves. For, for sake of time, let's just do three of them. I had thought I grabbed three, so you can see. Very easy to do, optional. I think the look though is gonna be nice too. Just a little, something a little offset for color wise. So yeah, so you get six of those guys. I'm gonna go with a super, Pull Silver Super Iridium Blade. Hey, good morning, Robert. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the top cap. Top cap. Got the horizontal. I don't know what you call these things to keep the razor, the, the razor blade in place. <laughs> it does, yeah, so Ray is saying it looks like a lightsaber. It, it does look like a lightsaber. I can, I can totally see that by the, by the design. And I, as I mentioned before, we're going with the standard plate three. Hey, I am CDB. How's it going? Good morning. Oh no. Let me get that washer. Luckily it didn't, luckily it didn't go down the sink. And speaking of IMCDB, he has also done a close look at the Blackland Era Razor. So you can get a few different opinions on this. Um, I'll be using this razor throughout the week, probably, I don't know, next week or two. I do want to try all the different plates. I'll, I'll know how aggressive this guy's going to be based on the three anyhow. But you can see they're all labeled very clearly in the bottom. Blackland, level three, USA. And so we'll, we'll put the wash. I do like, you know, I do like these M5 washers. I use, uh, I picked up some and uh, I think I picked up a bag of like five or ten from Maggard razors just to use in some of my others. So there's the assembled razor, again, using a pull silver super iridium. We got three of the bands going. I'll probably put them all on. <laughs> and Chris is saying, I'm predicting it'll be smooth sailing on three. I think so too, Chris. Um, all right, so that's, I know we talked a lot about the razor, but I'm super excited. It came in like late yesterday afternoon when I, I still didn't need the shave. This is about two days worth of growth. So that's what we're working with. As far as other things, it is a Halloween shave, right? So, Hallows, Bear Certain Man, not for everybody. Uh, this, there's so many, I'm sure you've seen different labels for it and they're all good. Uh, I do like the kind of, it's kind of a little darker macabre uh, kind of thing here uh, with the nails going through the skull and the slash of red. So this is, I think this is in the Glissant base. Uh, you can see the side label here. Yeah, good old Hallows. I know a lot of you out there are using Hallows today. Um, and what Bar Man used to do is on this, the little kind of tamper seal, they used to put the main notes, uh, like, mo like the, the dominant notes of the scent. And so what's listed is moss, vetiver, and cocoa. And I've, I, you know, I've used this. I think this was my Halloween shave last year too, if memory serves me correct. This is still a pretty a, above medium, maybe like a six, six or seven cent strength. And this, this is one of those things, uh, to be fully honest and transparent, this is a scent that I, I, within the same year, I'll either love it and, or hate it, depending on the day. Um, there's a powderiness to it from the oak moss, uh, and sometimes it's just overwhelming. So, hey, what's up, Ben? Uh, yeah, so it, it can, that powderiness can be overwhelming. Uh, there is a uh, vetiver here, but it comes out later. Like I think once I lather it up, that'll come out more. And for sure, co uh, cocoa. So not like, it's not like a sweet hot chocolate, but it's, uh, it's more like the, the cocoa nibs. So it's, it's a bit of a darker, uh, richer kind of scent. So it's, ha it's Hallows, Ben. So yeah, we got the, uh, the soap from a few years ago and the matching splash here. So going with that. And for the brush, which has been soaking, 
I thought kind of go with that same kind of dark theme. Got to go for Declaration Grooming, Blood of Kings with a B9, A+. Not, this is on loan from my buddy Ben at House of Mammoth. So, yeah. So let's, let's, let's get into it. Yep. Good old Hallows. Hallows is not for everyone. There, guys, during non-fall weather, there are times where I'll sniff it. I'm like, do I want to keep this? But ultimately, I don't know. It, it, it's one I enjoy. And if it only comes out like for a handful of shaves during the year, that's enough for me. For this scent, at least. But yeah, let me know. Um, for those of you watching live or even later, um, I, I might have asked before, but let me know if you're doing a Halloween shave, what scent you're going for. Is there anyone dressing up today? I always think it'd be fun to dress up along with my kids. And I, I have in the past, like one time we did a family costume uh, for Pokemon and I got, to, I got to dress as Ash Ketchum. That was fun, very like low effort, <laughs> low, low effort costume. Uh, in general though, I, I don't usually dress up. But I would like to, I, I, I don't mind it. It's, it's a fun thing to do. I've been swirling for a while. Oh, Fujir Gothic. Yep, I'm sure that'll be a popular one. And you know, I've been I've been underloading these declaration knots the last few shaves I've used, so I'm just gonna go extra. Load it like you hate it kind of deal. I saw a barbershop de los muertos. Lord Shady, sorry, I I did see you pop in. Lord Shady, just pretend, uh, you know, if I wouldn't get a copyright strike, I'd be playing uh, Imperial March right now. So that's playing a little entrance, like wrestling style entrance music for you. I'm just gonna, s you guys are doing a great job just sharing your your uh, shaves. I wanna make sure I acknowledge them. <laughs> Let's see here. I mean, I didn't miss too much. Uh, Lord Shady said, I'm upset no Howl's released this year. There was one last year, maybe uh, Fujiro Gothic will hold you over. And Ray said he's using Fujiro Gothic. Oh, uh, Ben, one past Ben saying uh, Shang-Chi and Squid Games is the default Asian costumes for 2021. I, I'm expecting to see a lot of Squid Games from those Asian, not Asian. I think that is pop culture phenomenon. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna snap some pictures if I see anything. Robert, uh, yeah, Barbershop de los Muertos tomorrow. Awesome, yeah, for Dios de los Muertos. I think I'm gonna do uh, Flowers in the Dark, Robert, for, for that. Oh. oh, and then IMCDB said that Hallows was still on sale at the Razor Company up to a month ago, which would have been old stock, but still good. You know, it's like, I know some, I know some artisans put, uh, expiration dates, but you know, as long as you're letting your soaps dry thoroughly between uses, I'm not really worried about, oh my gosh. All right, so we're, we're definitely gonna use some of this <laughs> proto leather. There's like so much of it. Again, this is the older Glissant base, which actually I know a lot of people prefer Glissant to the newer Excelsior. I know it's not the newest anymore, but a lot of people love this Glissant base. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting that vetiver now as I smear this on the cheeks. That vetiver is, yeah, it's rooty, it's it's dank. And then you kind of get hit with that pow <laughs> the powdery oak moss. This is, not, yeah, this is a, uh, it's a love or hate scent. It's just funny that it can be both a love or hate scent for me, depending on the day. And just rinse off my hands here. It's like just covered in lather. One other thing you get to see today is uh, usually, you know, I, I, I do a lot of edits to my videos and you get a better idea of what my shave is like in real time. Granted, it's a little extra, a little, a little longer in time just because I'm chatting with you guys, dispensing information, responding to stuff, you know, like right now, let's see here. Oh, Alpha is using Hotel Cecil for a head shave today. 
And up for is sorry, it's up for Shave Dave also on YouTube. Be sure to check out his channel. Okay, Ben, what's your favorite live plats platform so far? Ben, I think it depends. I think it depends on what I'm doing. Uh, unboxing, I really like to be in front of my computer where I can have like, in general, if I can ha use my fancy microphone, I think it, it goes a long way or like, you know, more surface. So for unboxing, I, I do like uh, YouTube to go live for those. I haven't done those in a while because I haven't purchased too many things as of late. The era easily could have been an unboxing though. Now that I think about it. But I did a little bit of kind of unboxing information at the start of today's video. But yeah, we'll be using the Blackland era for a while. It's again, it's uh, similar to the car of Christopher Bradley in that there's different base plates to choose from. I don't think the handle of the razor is going to vary that much. It's going to be that one standard handle. So I know some folks prefer a shorter handle, some prefer longer. It's a pretty standard size. I'm not sure. It might be like uh, maybe like three and a half inches for, for this one, just as an estimate. I think that's kind of right, right in the middle, like a gold, Goldilocks size one. This lather looks, having not used glissant in a bit, it's quite easy to work with. Yeah, all right. All right, so IMCDB predicts a smooth shave. And this, you know, this razor has been built. So for those of you who have tried other Blackland razors, they tend to have uh, more blade feel, uh, more uh, you know, more efficiency, more aggression. This one's supposed to be very accessible to your to, to your more average sh shaver. So I'm not gonna expect too much, you know, craziness with the the three base plate. And yeah, this is again loaded with a pulse silver super iridium. I just missed something. Yeah, <laughs> Ben was just asking about the handle length. So I, I think it's like about three and a half inches, I wanna say. Um, I'll be sure next time, I, before I record next time with it, I'll get all the specs. Yeah, that's my guess, three and a half inches. Um, which I'm not sure what that is in millimeters, Ben. You know, if someone wants to do a quick conversion, three and a half inches. Because I think you guys up in Canada and pretty much the rest of the world go on metric, right? This is feeling nice so far though, yeah. Oh, and the reason I mentioned carve too before is because I think inevitably you guys watching this are going to want to know what's, what other razors is it like? And that can be quite tough. Um, I've said in the past, and it's worth repeating again, you can research and find out blade gap. People used to look at blade, blade gap and be like, okay, that's like the really good metric to find out how aggressive a razor is gonna be. And I hate to you know, be the bearer of bad news, but blade gap alone will not tell you all you need to know about a razor. Only because blade gap only matters with a couple of the variables, like blade exposure as well. You've heard positive, neutral, and negative exposure. Uh, I think car uh, Carbon uh, mentions that in their different plates. So you have to take, you, you can't rather, you can't take blade gap or you know, most of those metrics in isolation. They, kind of, they work together to inform you of what experience you might have. That, was that Ben asking? It's like, oh, you're asking if it's like the B plate? I, th yeah. I would say this is pretty similar. Um, it's very, very low blade feel. It's, it's cutting hair. Uh, you know, it's, you hear that? 
You got some, you got some audio feedback there. I would say, uh, yeah, B plate is a pretty fair comparison for the, for the three, three standard. I don't know, I don't, I don't like calling straight bar. <laughs> some people call it, right? Some people call it straight bar. Uh, whatever the opposite of open comb would be. All right. If, if also, if you hear my kids screaming in the back, they're getting ready in their costumes and whatnot. So <laughs> don't, don't mind them. I think for those of you who like a more aggressive razor, you'll probably want to look at maybe the open comb options uh, for the era. At least that's my early prediction. So we're lathering up for the second pass. I'm glad to say though that uh, it's the, the sun is out. We had some nasty weather yesterday, you know, a storm front coming through, very heavy rain, but things have cleared up. I'm sure the ground's gonna be like soaking wet still, but um, at least for just to be out, out and about in, in just a little bit. Um, I'm glad we have nicer weather. It's like 66 degrees here too. <laughs> Magic Mike saying he would like, he would like the open comb 17 plate. Magic, Magic Mike likes a good, uh, some good efficiency in his razors. I will give you a plug, Magic Mike. For those of you not familiar, Magic Mike is located up in Canada and is, uh, has been quite well known uh, for his honing of straight razors. So if you are looking to get a nice edge on your straight razors, I, I have, I've tried, um, rather he has honed a few of my razors and I need to send him one more. I'm just being delinquent on it. <laughs> he does a great job. So make sure contact Magic Mike. I think Magic Mike, you're in the chat right now. Let me know, should they find you on Instagram? I'll be sure to put, I'll try to remember who I mentioned in the video and put links in the description later. I know I mentioned up for a shave Dave and now Magic Mike. I'll probably just, I'll send them to your Instagram page, Magic Mike. Man, this knot feels great. I, I don't need to lather more, but it just feels so pillowy soft. I just, I just keep, I just keep going. We gotta, we gotta get this, we gotta get done with the shave. You know, the other razor that's worth probably uh, comparing this to, another like kind of semi-adjustable, would be the Rockwell 6C or 6S. And let's see, for that one, it actually, this might be on par with uh, the three plate. The three plate or somewhere between the three and four plate on the Rockwell. Hey Raza, good morning. Happy Halloween to you, sir. Very comfortable, sh comfortable shave though. I think this three could be a daily, daily driver for me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, cause I do, I do want to try all the plates, but um, given how mild I'm finding the three, I might skip the standard one and two. 
I think the three is kind of as low as I go. If for some reason I do, I almost never do like a back to back shave um, day wise. If I do, you'll see me use the, maybe for the sake of science, I should just do it. I mean, I, I do, I have, I have the plates, right? And at the very least, I think it, it'll be, it'll be helpful for those of you trying to figure out what plates you want um, once this razor comes out. Actually, I'm CDB. If you're still here, uh, is there a release date for the Blackland era? If you do happen to know, let me know. Otherwise, if it's TBD, you know, no worries at all. But all right, so two passes done. Uh, I do think I need a little cleanup here. Yeah, let's just let's do a quick cleanup pass. IMCDB says 2021. Okay. Fair enough. That's why I, I do hope these are ready for like the holidays 2021, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all the holidays that are celebrated and that <laughs> might uh, involve ex exchanging of gifts. December birthdays. You my upper lip, a few, uh, few stragglers up here. Chris confirmed, before, hopefully before end of the year. If anything, if you guys are excited for this razor, I would say uh, make sure you're following Blackland, Blackland Razors on their social media or sign up for their newsletter. That's really, I think Shane does a pretty good job of, you know, once things are kind of firm, firmly set, He'll always email out to the to the newsletter, uh, to the mailing list rather. Hey Gerard, good morning. Don't mind me, I'm just making sure I'm getting the last stragglers here. There's a reason I always kind of speed up my either my second pass or my my third cleanup pass. These two spots here. I wonder if there's like a blem blemish or something. <laughs> that sounds good, Gerard. I hope, I hope you had a good trip. All right, so. Very nice shave, very nice first shave with the Blackland era. Is that DF I see? I think I find put together, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to put together like internet names and like names on Facebook or YouTube. So I, I recognize, hey Marion, how's it going? It's always fun to see, you know, 
faces and names put together. But yeah, really great shade for that. Um, with with the era, I'll be using again. I'll be using that. Oh, no worries, Marion. Don't worry. Uh, it, was, it was a good shave. That's all you need to know. <laughs> with the black lens era on the three, on the three plate, feels good in hand. I do like those little rubber bands added for added grip. So you get six of those with it. I think I will do. I'll wind up doing a not quite an unboxing video, but just to show because Shane was kind enough to send everything that can come with the Blackland. Uh, I'll do a better job just like going over all the plates, these rubber bands. Um, I think his, his pack in go to blade is the Persona Lab Blues, which I'll, I'll also want to use with this razor next time. I, I want to use one of my regular blades for the first go. Woo, that's so that's Hallows. Woo. I get okay, so that cocoa really comes out, <laughs> that cocoa really comes out more in in the splash than the soap. The soap is mostly uh, it goes between kind of a rooty vetiver and uh, powdery oak moss, but now that that cocoa is coming more more through. Um, a few plugs if you enjoyed this video or you want to catch more videos like this, please be sure to hit the like button, um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Either way, it would help the uh, growth of this channel immensely. I also want to invite you guys over to the Ladder Talk Discord. Easiest, easiest way to get there is just to go to laddertalk.com. Um, big reason to plug that is we got a giveaways channel going. And not to say we're not doing giveaways on this channel anymore, but the Discord, I hope to have at least a monthly giveaway going, uh, whether for myself or from those, the members in the, uh, in the actual Discord. So the first thing that we have to kick off, and this is open to anyone that's never tried a Blackland Razor, or they're just a relatively new uh, wet shaver, you could win a, uh, it's, it's uh, from a pass around, but you know, it's for your, you, now it's for you to keep a Blackland Blackbird stainless steel. So yeah, that's that is open to if you have never used Blackland razors or if you are a newer wet shaver. So you can hop on the Discord, look around. You know, we, we'd love to have you stop on by. But we're having giveaways now, and yeah, if a Blackland Blackbird stainless steel has been on your to buy list, it's a chance to win one as well. So don't don't miss that chance. Uh, it's Sunday now. The uh, the giveaway closes at f around 4 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. So you got about you know, uh, just over a day to go sign up for there. So uh, that's my plugs. Uh, I did see a question come in. I do want to address it before. Robert is asking, is Hallows a barbershop type scent? Uh, I don't, I, I, I'm very, it's powdery. I will say that. I would not call it barbershop though. It doesn't have the, uh, it doesn't have that lavender. It doesn't have citrus. Uh, it, it's not gonna, you know, you might get barbershop vibes, but once that vetiver hits your nose, you'll be like, nope, that, <laughs> this, is a, this is a different beast altogether. So uh, you know, like, uh, the, like, like the swamps and bogs of Massachusetts was the main, uh, what was the main uh, inspiration for Hallows? So yeah, it's, I wouldn't call it a barbershop. And then Ra oh, Raza, oh boy. I, I will answer this question seriously, but he says, nice, what's your favorite blade to use with the Blackbird? <laughs> uh, the Blackbird's in all seriousness. Uh, so I use the Titanium Blackbird and it's it's handled uh, multiple blades well. Um, I do, again, it's packed with Persona Lab Blues. Those actually work really well with it. Uh, the first time I used it though was also with uh, with that same razor, but I really enjoy that. Um, other ones like Gillette Silver Blue, Rapira Platinum Lux, those all work very well. So I think it's, it's pretty flexible to what uh, what you want to put in there. Uh, Seth, what's up? How's it going? If you're catching the end, uh, we're towards the end of the video. Yeah, sorry, but um, the, the shave went very well. So um, yeah, you, you could catch on the replay. If not, I'm gonna use this razor for you know, for the upcoming videos. So, and I'll try to record a little bit more. I know I've been kind of clocking in with like one video a week, um, just given that's kind of the pace of life right now. <laughs> hey man, like I, I had like six days in between my previous shaves. So I'm kind of back on a more normal schedule as of this weekend, uh, cause I shaved like two days ago too. So yeah, but anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for those of you who came to the live, for those catching on catching this on the replay, thanks so much for sticking through this long, you guys rock. Uh, I hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween, and I'll be sure to uh, catch you next time. Yeah, I wasn't sure where I was going with that, but um, I'll catch you guys for the next video, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Okay!